In eastern Ukraine, a rare public appearance, little is known about the two Russian paramilitary groups that claimed the attack on Belgorod, but their ambition is clear. The Russian Volunteer Corps and Liberty of Russia Legion say they want to topple President Vladimir Putin. The groups based in Ukraine say they acted independently and Belgorod is just the beginning. Everything we do within the state borders of Ukraine, we obviously coordinate with Ukraine military, of course, because otherwise we would have been Russians with machine guns running around Ukraine in wartime, <laughs> obviously. Everything we do, every decision we make behind, beyond the border, behind the state border, is our own decision. Both groups were founded last year, made up of Russians who used to fight in Ukraine's International Legion. The Kremlin says they couldn't have acted alone, and Kyiv was behind the raid. One of President Volodymyr Zelensky's top advisers says Kyiv was not involved, but welcomes any disruption to Moscow's war. We are not involved in any internal events in Russia. However, what happened in the Belgrade region proves that Russia is gradually losing control. They are unable to protect their own borders because their troops are concentrated in occupied Ukraine. Podolyak says Kyiv's reassured its allies about its role. Ukraine's allies supply Kyiv with weapons on the understanding that it will never carry out attacks on Russian soil and risk escalating the conflict. Pictures like this, though, are making NATO allies anxious. Moscow says this video shows US-made armoured vehicles in Belgorod. Uh, some of the reports circulating on social media and elsewhere making claims that U.S. supplied weapons were used in these attacks. I will say that we're skeptical at this time of the veracity of these reports. Ihor Volobuyev's not part of the paramilitary groups linked to Belgorod, but he's another Russian fighting for change. Once a senior executive at Russia's state-owned Gazprom Bank, he defected to Ukraine and joined its foreign legion. Russia. Russia will not only lose this war, it is already losing. Russia will pay for this for many, many decades. Not only financially, but they'll be pointed out, be put on trial or spat on for years. They'll be ashamed to walk around with a Russian passport. The Belgorod attack was the biggest incursion into Russia since the war began. Evidence that while Putin wages war in Ukraine, he also faces the threat of more attacks on Russian soil. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Kyiv.